John Velojit uh, back here with uh, part two of uh, getting you up and running with extending Construct 2 with a plugin. Well, I'm sure you've already spotted one of the problems that the users of our grid plugin are going to have, and that is that when they drop it into a layout, nothing appears on the layout itself. So let's do something about that. So to fix that, we need to do some customization of one of the other files from the template set, and that is edittime.js. So load that into your editor, and the first thing that needs to be done, just as we did with runtime.js, is to change my plugin to grid. So here the name is changed to grid, and the ID is changed to grid as well. It's also a good idea to change the description because this is going to appear when someone inserts a new object uh, to give them a description of uh, what it does so just in case they don't know what a grid actually does. There are other things you can change here too. In fact, you should change the author and the help, but we won't do it now. We'll move right along to uh, drawing. Okay, well, here down on line 162 is the placeholder for the edit time draw function, and here between these empty braces is where we need to put in our code. Right, well, here we are with our own code dropped in between the empty braces to give some functionality to draw. You can drop it in from the zip file that you downloaded from my Dropbox to save you the tedium of copying it out from here. As you have a look through it, you can see that it has quite a different appearance from the HTML5 canvas object code that we used in the runtime. This uses Construct's own renderer object and a couple of vectors, custom-built uh, Construct vectors, to give us the coordinates. And we use those vectors to loop through and draw the horizontal lines and to loop through and draw the vertical lines. I won't go into any more detail here. You can have a look through the manual for the SDK, which gives a very good explanation of well, what's actually going on here. Anyway, we've now got something that uh, will draw a grid on the editing screen. So here we are, back in the Construct 2 editor, where we've now got a visible grid. So the constructors who are using our grid plugin can see where they uh, might want to place objects, for example. So the users of our grid plugin have now got a visible grid on their layout, but it's rather passive, it just sits there being a grid. What if they wanted to make it the focus of uh, some event? What if they wanted to add an action? Let's say if they click the right button, or the users of their game that they're building click the right button, some action happens with the grid itself. Suppose it changed color. How did we go? How do we go about uh, doing that? Well, you won't be surprised to hear that uh, we need to do a bit more coding. First of all, we need to call constructs add number param function with a label, make that label line color, a description, make that description line color, and an initial string that will give the value for this parameter. And because we're dealing with colors, RGB color, we'll make it black, zero, zero, zero. And then we need to add a corresponding action so we set the parameters for add action here with an ID, zero, seeing it's our first one, flags, no particular flags, a list name that appears in the event wizard list, line color again, and a category that appears in the event wizard categories. And we'll make a new category called settings for our grid plugin. And, uh, this is the display string, is the next parameter that appears in the event uh, sheet. Set the color. A description. Change the color of the grid lines. And a corresponding runtime function name. 
and that's going to be in the runtime code and we'll head over there shortly and code up this change color function but one more thing that we need to do before doing our runtime coding and that is to create a property in the property list so down to line 100 and we're going to set a property for our color so here it is in the comments we're going to use the color property we're going to give it a name line color we're going to give it an initial value that uh, black one and we're going to give it a description color of grid lines and now at last we're ready to head over and do our runtime coding so back now in the runtime js to code up our change color function following the example action that uh, is already there in the template code instead of my action we give it our name change color and the function is passed a parameter in our case it's going to be an rgb value and that means that for the user for the constructor making their game using a grid plugin when they're asked for a line color for their change color action they can type in an rgb value in this case red 25500 and uh, this will set the parameter that's passed to the change color action so when our change color function is passed that parameter it uses it to create a color from each of the rgb values and that color is then used to set the line color for our grid plugin. Once that's done, we can ask the construct to runtime itself to redraw the screen and uh, our grid will appear with a new color. So let's test this for ourselves. Uh, save your runtime JS, uh, head back here to construct2 and uh, click on add action select grid is the object to create our action from and we get the add action dialog box and hey look here this is the settings category that we've created and this is the line color setting that uh, we've programmed this is the action to be added and when we click next we get this uh, parameter dialog box that we've already seen and we see our line color is red and uh, click done moment of truth again uh, run the layout and we have the grid as before but click the right mouse button and hey here we've got our changed color so now we've given Construct2 Game Makers a grid plugin with a change color action and uh, you're up and running with extending Construct2 with a plugin. Where to from here? Well, make sure you read the fantastic manual. There's loads of highly useful info there, all very clearly set out. We've added an action, change color you could try adding a condition uh, say uh, if the grid color is red and then a game maker could use that to uh, to double the score let's say there are actions conditions and expressions aces for short uh, try adding an expression uh, for example the xy coordinates on the the grid so that a game maker could use that to place a sprite say at a particular location and lastly, and above all, experiment. Try things out for yourself and you'll find using the SDK to extend Construct2 with a plugin is as great fun as I've found it.